Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. And uh, this is where we we learn something new every time about uh, every Saturday about social media. Our guru, Naomi Doraguzi, <laughs> is here, and she just told us. Just as you're getting ready for breakfast, Naoma is talking food <laughs> and, your, and your smartphone. Exactly. Well, the first thing I want to talk about is not exactly an app, but it's a website that I found. It's called Food in My Fridge. One thing that I absolutely hate to do is go grocery shopping with my kids. It's <laughs> like I can have a list, I can try and be prepared, but with so many distractions and them wanting to pull stuff off, I always forget stuff or get too much stuff. So there's this website called Food in My Fridge. You literally list everything, or you can be general, and it'll tell, give you recipes. Easy, cheap recipes, whatever, if you are diabetic, if you want to watch calories, of things you can make with stuff you already have at home. Mm -hmm. so that's a good way to not waste food, and you can be very detailed. You can submit your photos of the recipes you make and also see what other people have submitted. But it's kind of a, a neat thing, so I don't have to go to the grocery store. If I have stuff I can make, you know, different kinds of egg things you can make, or sandwiches, or things you can make, or if you don't have bread, but you have this stuff. So it can, might save you an extra day or two with having to go to the grocery store and wasting the food that you make. So that, that's a great thing, just being able to go through your pantry, your cupboards, mm -hmm. and just take stock of what I have and then just plug that in. And so easy to look in there and say, oh, I don't have anything. But really, right. if you just take a couple of minutes, you might be able to make a couple of meals out of it without having to go to the grocery store and waste a bunch of time with <laughs> and try and get you know, a little bit stressed out with taking two kids to the grocery store that don't want to go. But another cool app that I've done, if you have to take your kids to the grocery store, this is a fun app to use, but also um, to help you learn things. Uh, is it's called um, a Food Educate. And what you do is you just scan the barcode and it'll grade the food that you're um, oh about to buy or that you're eating. So this, you know, we eat these, you know, I thought oh, they were healthy raisins. They're by the um, cereal. And I'm like, well, I don't really like raisins, but I do like cranberries. So this is a, a thing. So what you do is you just, um, you just scan it with your phone. Oh. The barcode. Yep. You just scan the barcode. There it goes. It's not working. We're now. all waiting with faded breath. Oh no. Okay, so it, there it goes. So, anyways, you scan it and it'll grade it A, B, or C. Um, it won't grade it an F because um, it won't grade exactly an A plus. But they do give it by on your nutritional value. Like here's another thing I scan Nutella. Oh my goodness. But if you, it'll <laughs> tell you by the sugars, the fats why it won't be graded an A+, plus, but also give you alternatives to eat. So like, even though I like these craisins and the boys like it, but there's I some other you. things you can do, like the dried apricots, I guess they're a little bit better. I'm trying to watch the sugar intake, because you know, I had the pregnancy diabetes, I don't have it now, but I always worry about how much sugar I'm intaking, and also for my kids. So I probably won't be buying these as much and looking for other alternatives, but then I can let the kids show them, okay, we're trying to eat healthy, let's, uh, uh, scan it and they're like, oh, it's graded a C. Well, maybe we shouldn't eat it, and then so we'll try and find some other that, alternatives. That could really so make for, it fun. That could make for an eye opening grocery store trip. It does. <laughs> it does. It keeps it does. the kids busy, though. Yes. Good activity for yes. them. Yes, and it's very easy to use, well, except for just now, but you just scan it <laughs> and it'll pop up with the grade and why it's graded that, some things that you can make with it, as well as um, what you can buy or what you can eat instead of that. Great All stuff, right. as always. You can find her at asknaoma.com. And thank you very much, Naoma. We'll be back. Thank you.